The current world population is 7.8 billion, according to the United Nations estimates elaborated by Wordometer. But what's the point of having billions of people when, according to the Pew Research Center, 42% of these people are satisfied with their God's democracy, compared to the 52% who aren't satisfied with their democracy? Sister developing countries have been facing fundamental challenges such as economic development, leadership, and national unity. Coming home, we've been battling leadership as a nation since independence, and now we associate it with a particular tribe, leading to tribalism and national disunity. Shouting in a layman's understanding is when a person speaks loudly and often angrily. From this definition, one can understand that a person shouts when they are angry. Relating it to what I'm talking about is that citizens are angry. Citizens want more from their government. Citizens want their country to be known for more than being listed on the Transparency International Corruption Index. I've not listed out all the issues every country can get and neither have I professed solutions. Even if I profess solutions, they may not be the best or even palatable. But I'm trying to gain people's attention to their country's economic and political system. We need to address these situations. Our economic health and future are dependent on fixing them. All I'm saying in one sentence is that if a citizen, if natives want more from their country, they need to shout. Not physically, but in their actions, they need to speak up. As of 2020, South Africa with a population of 59 million has been able to supply electricity to 91% of its people. In the same year, Nigeria with a population of 260, 206 million has been able to supply electricity to 56% of its people. From this data, we can understand that Amidst our long list of political, social, and economic problems as a nation, we are still faced with the issue of electricity. It is slow and still in some areas inadequate. The Nigerian crime rate has given a lot of Nigerians sleepless nights due to the 9.85 rate of murder according to the 2015 population. Public security is an important aspect of every state, and we have failed in that aspect too. Not to talk of the terrorist attacks which have been on the rise due to the Boko Haram activities over the past years. For example, in 2020, a statement read out on July 2nd by EYN National President Reverend Joe Billy during a press conference in Yola Adamawa. The church was revealed that over 700,000 church members have been displaced, eight pastors and over 8,370 unknown number of people have been adopted by the terrorist fractions. One would ask if citizens have spoken to the government, if citizens have aired out their views, and the answer is yes, but talking isn't effective. Talking isn't producing the results we want. We need to shout. In the weeks following the killings of George Floyd, millions of Americans marched in the streets. The killing inspired an outpour of white empathy in ways that the shootings of other African Americans did not. African Americans were tired of begging the government for their rights, were tired of giving ultimatums to the government for their rights. So they decided to protest and prove to the government that power, real power, lies in its citizens. Not too long after that, in less than two weeks after the death of George Floyd, achievements were made. For example, Boston said on June 9th that it would dismantle a vandalized statue of Christopher Columbus who enslaved people while colonizing America for Spain. Seattle's police chief banned covering badge numbers which helped the public identify officers. In Europe, 
which had seen solidarity protests with Floyd, the French government, government also banned neck holds. Imagine the progress gotten from the demonstrations. So if they can do it, you can too. A famous quote by Thomas Jefferson says, if you want something you've never had, you need to do something you've never done. Protests serve a purpose, and it's in times where citizens don't feel like they have been heard that they serve their purpose. Not because talking didn't work, but because shouting is the new talking.